In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure you're well. We are on the ninth day in our novena for candidates and school-going children. And we thank God for this day. We thank him because our sons and daughters in Form 4 are continuing with their exams. On Saturday, uh, we talked about um, how to ask God when we are stuck. Now, the other question that we ask today is, once we get out of the situation, that bad situation, once we are out, what do we ask God? Or what do we tell him? In our prayer life, now that we are well prepared, what do we tell him? Number one, praise him for who he is. Praise him for who he is. This is what the Bible says in Colossians 1.16. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether, th whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him, praising him for who he is. The verse we have read is a reminder about who you are communicating with when you decide to pray to God. You are not just talking with some kind of spiritual force that cannot be named. When you pray, you want to be confident that the one you bring your deepest hopes, ambition, regrets, and fears to can be trusted with them. I don't know whether you have ever been to an office and you want to see a certain officer. And there's somebody who is taking you around. And they want you to believe that uh, you can trust them with your message. But your message is meant for a certain office to be executed by a certain officer. Sometimes even the guard at the gate may tell you, you leave, it, you leave your message with me, I'll give it to the boss. While the person may mean well, you, you will always feel that your message did not go. And you'll be asking, you may even be forced to call, hello, did you give him or her my, my papers? Okay, it's because they have not called me. I thought that I just need to ask. Not that I am doubting. No, 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 I'm not doubting. No, no, I'm not doubting you. Uh, you know, it's human to be a bit impatient. But thank you if you gave the person my parcel. Now, why is that happening? Because the person you communicated with, you are not even very sure how they can be trusted with whatever message that you had. Now, when we know who we are talking to, now we are okay. We praise him for who he is. He is our God. The one who does what no man can ever do. Number two, thank God for what he has done. Thank him for what he has done. John 3, 16, very clear. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This matters because God has done something in our lives. Every time you are feeling stuck, every time you are feeling lost, it is always advisable to remember that although today you are down, you have not been down through and through. There is something that God has done in your life. There is something he has done. Remembering what he has done gives you the confidence that the same God who was with me then is the same God who is with me now that I'm struggling. For example, 
if you are struggling today with your business, it may not be true that you have never had a breakthrough. The God you were with when business was thriving is the same God you are with when you are struggling. The moment you remember that, even your prayer becomes affordable and possible. I love that. Number three, pray that you remember God's love and grace for you. This is what the Bible says. John chapter 15, verses 4 and 5, 9 and 10. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. Pray that you remain, you remember God's love and grace for you. Whatever we do, as long as we, we are in him, we will be fruitful, we will be victorious. Thank you. We will pick it up from there tomorrow. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Tuesday.